Are you looking for a divorce attorney but don't know where to start? If so, then you should carefully listen to these eight tips I have for you. Hello, my name is Danielle Pinkston. I am owner and founder of Pinkston Law Group, a Chicago-based law office that primarily handles personal injury and family law matters. Without further ado, tip number one, search for personal recommendations. If you are able, ask a close friend or relative if they know of a good divorce lawyer. If you can't do this, try and contact your local bar association. Tip number two, start close to home. You may want to choose an attorney who is well-versed in the statutes, laws, standing orders, and procedures of the local judges in your jurisdiction. If cost is an issue, try and find an attorney whose office is close to the courthouse where your divorce will be filed. This way, you'll be able to cut down on the hourly rates they might bill you to commute to and from other courthouses. Tip number three, Choose someone who practices matrimonial and or family law. It is always helpful if your attorney has relevant experience or can get quickly caught up to speed. Personally, it may be best to choose someone who has already handled divorces with issues similar to yours. If the lawyer you want to choose is fresh out of law school, then ask if he or she has a trusted, experienced mentor or someone they can run issues by if necessary. Tip number four. Choose someone who is able to evaluate the strengths and the weaknesses of your case. Sometimes cases have baggage. Most times clients already know this fact and it is okay for you to ask your potential divorce lawyer if they can foresee any hurdles or obstacles that you may have to overcome and how they can assist you. Tip five is be realistic. Be realistic about the role of your divorce lawyer and what you can expect from him or her. You should realize that a divorce is a legal process with the sole purpose of dissolving marital bonds, distributing assets, determining debts and liabilities, working out maintenance issues, child support to name a few. Your divorce lawyer's job is to represent you to the best of his or her ability during this process. While you might want them to listen to every detail about your anger, your frustration, your pain and sadness, all the time, that is not necessarily your divorce lawyer's, lawyer's job or expertise. Keep in mind, they may not be a trained or skilled attorney at law or a therapist or a coach. Also keep in mind that your attorney's hourly rate is probably a lot higher than a therapist and the clock is always running. So be careful about how much time you spend with your lawyer on non-legal issues. The next tip. Tip number six, choose a skilled negotiator. If your case can be settled without a lengthy court battle, you'll save a great deal of time, trouble, and money. The goal of your divorce should be to come to a fair settlement, agreement, and or resolution. Tip number seven, choose someone you are compatible with. While you don't have to become best friends with your lawyer, you must be comfortable enough with him or her to be able to share some very deep and personal aspects of your life and your marriage. Divorce lawyers, believe it or not, have heard the good, the bad, and the ugly, and we know not to judge. But if you cannot bring yourself to disclose some very important and relevant information to your lawyer, you'll be putting you and your divorce lawyer at an extreme disadvantage. The final tip is tip number eight, and it's price. Ask about the price. Have the price put in writing. Some lawyers bill by the hour for their services, while others charge a flat fee based on the amount of time and labor they think it will take to resolve your divorce. If cost is an issue, ask if your future lawyer offers payment plans. In closing, if you are thinking about filing for a divorce, or if you are currently in a divorce right now, I am here to help you. You can call or click the link below to schedule a consultation. And as always, thank you for watching.